It had been since, I believe, 87 or 88 since we had a 30 home run hitter with the Twins. So it was, I think it was 20 or 21 seasons that, that it had been. And we would get asked about it you know, quite often, you know, is this the, is this the time you're going to, somebody's going to hit 30 and, and all the rest of that. And, and earlier in the year, I figured out that if I hit five home runs a month, six month season, that's a way to get to 30 homers. And I tried to simplify things and it, it was, okay, well, if this is what I can do, that's one homer a week if you really think about it throughout the season. So it, it, we got off to a rough start. It was, it was 2006. We, everyone kind of remembers the turnaround that we had and how hot we were and we felt like we couldn't lose. And it was us in Detroit and Chicago and Detroit had a really good team that year. And Zumaya was striking out everybody who was coming in. And it was a situation, I think it was the eighth inning. I was on 29 homers and 98 RBIs or whatever it was. And just end up hitting the ball and down the line, looking at it and went over the fence. God, a home run, number 30 for Mordo. His 100th and 101st RBI. The feeling for me, 30 homers, 100 RBIs, you know, those big counting numbers that personally are, are, are nice to look at and but the significance of the moment from a, from a team, it, it gave us the lead. It was late in the year. We were in such a battle for the division and it's the perfect storm of, you know, a great team and a moment that we all needed to kind of keep propelling us forward. And favorite moment would be the last day of the 2006 season when we, you know, won the division after our season was over. Everyone stuck around in the Metrodome. We watched the game with the fans together and we were all locked in on those jumbotrons in, in the dome. And, and it was uh, really just one of those times that you you never forget and you hope uh, as you get older that's one of the memories that really stays with you and, and you can remember how special that time was in your life and, and to be able to share that with so many people was really amazing. You're young at the time, I was 25 or 26 and you're at this stage in your career and in your life where you feel like you can continue to play at that level and at the time you don't really realize that hey this might be my best season that I'll ever have and, and you don't look at it that way and it's it's sort of uh, you sort of set this bar for yourself and I think other people set it for you and, and it's good to have expectations it's good for people to expect things from you it's good for you to expect things from yourself and, and uh, it was a, a team also I, I like to go back to that because if we don't win the division we don't have the success we had as a team then I don't think the way the voting goes that, that maybe I beat out Jeter and it doesn't work out that way so that's something you will never go away. You'll always have that next to your name. My greatest regret of my career is that I never got to experience the joy of winning a postseason series, but to have that, the individual stuff is, is really nice to look back on too.